Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a huge fall Shein haul. I have gotten dozens and I mean dozens of requests for a big fall Shein haul and that's what we're doing today. I've got tons of sweaters, some super cute tops. I've also got a bunch of wedding guest dresses because I know a lot of you guys have fall weddings coming up. So I'm really excited about today's post. I hope you guys are too. Make sure you're checking me out on Instagram at style by McKenz because that is where I style majority of these pieces also on my website stylebymckenz.com i've got a bunch of fun blog posts in the work date ideas wedding guest dresses business casual looks all kinds of stuff so make sure you're keeping up with me on those platforms as well and hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on next week's she and haul love you guys hope you're excited i know i am and without further ado let's hop right on it almost forgot as per usual links will be in the description bar below as well as my coupon code sizing all that jazz starting off i've got this pair of boots right here i love this chelsea boot style with like this sock top i've been seeing so many boots this style you can either leave them up or you can roll them down a little bit I personally like them rolled down. These look adorable with skinny jeans and with leggings. I think they're so fun. I would probably wear this outfit with a pair of black leggings and these boots to class. I don't know, super versatile. I have a similar pair from Steve Madden, but they're like four times the price. So if you're looking to try it, Fall's Hottest Style for a fraction of the cost of Shein is definitely the place to do it. Definitely recommend sizing up at least one. I wear a size eight and I sized up to the 40 and they fit really nice. All right, we're just going right into the sweaters. I've got a ton of them. I love chunky sweaters for the fall. They work really well for the pumpkin patch, apple picking, all that kind of stuff, but they also work really well for class. I personally am a college student I take 15 credit hours. Some of my classes are online. Some of them are in person. A sweater and leggings is perfect for when I'm hanging out at home. It makes me feel a little more put together, but with jeans, it's great for class. So starting off, I've got this sweater right here. This was definitely one of my favorites. This is like a boat neck sweater. It's got a really wide neckline, as you can see, and it's got more of a bat wing sleeve that bishops out just a little bit, cinches towards the wrist. I just love the amount of oversized this is. I do size up to a medium in all of my sweaters just so that they're a little more oversized kind of give that comfier fit but love this color perfect fall basic okay next i've got one of those like tank top cardigan duos i've been seeing these all over my pinterest feed so i had to give one a try basically these come with like a little knit tank top as you can see this one just looks like this little light tan doesn't have adjustable straps or anything it's just got like a very basic fit to it and then there's a cardigan that you can layer over top i really like this it's on the shorter side but it's not super cropped either i'm wearing all of these pieces with a pair of high-waisted jeans from express that i will also leave linked down below and it makes for the perfect little fit very cute for class or like i said any of those fall activities that you may be doing you can obviously wear these together you can also mix and match them and i do want to note that this cardigan does not have any buttons so you don't have the option to wear it buttoned up. I am a sucker for orange in the fall. You will see me picking up a lot of orange. I love it for the pumpkin patch. I love it Halloween time. I also think that it's super cute come Thanksgiving. So picked up this oversized sweater. This is just an ivory with burnt orange stripes throughout. I also have a thing for stripes. You will notice throughout that's a common theme. This sweater has sleeves that bishop out just a little bit. They've got that orange cuff to kind of cinch it all in. This one I really love with jeans and then just a pair of chunky boots. Had to pick up a few few basic sweaters as well that were just like typical ivory a light tan super easy knit I really like these sweaters on their own but I also wear them layered under a flannel like the one I have on right now could be really cute you could also wear these layered underneath of a leather jacket a puffer something like that as it does cool down a little bit more this one is definitely on the thicker side it's much chunkier than the other ones and if that's because it's a cable knit as you see it's got those cute little diamond details throughout this one's also a little bit shorter probably one that i would stick with jeans rather than a pair of leggings but next up for those chunky cable knit sweaters i grabbed this guy this one is on the crop side and i personally love crop sweaters i think they are the perfect transition into the fall time and i also really love the way they look with straight leg jeans and a pair of converse i think that's super cute one of my favorite bloggers wears this style a lot so i'm obviously trying to recreate those looks um, so more of a cropped fit. This one does have a very chunky turtleneck. I love turtlenecks, a very common theme. Let me know if you like them or not. I get like mixed responses from you guys on whether or not you like them, but I always like to hear. Personally, I really like them. I think they're very flattering, especially when your hair is up, but 
very very cute this was one of my favorites next up i've got this ivory sweater as you can see i just pick up a ton of basics so that i can mix and match them as much as possible i also get my roommates borrowing these a lot as well for their internship a sweater like this with a pair of slacks you could definitely make work so this guy's just got your average neckline it rounds out a little bit more like a crew neck and then it's got a little bit of horizontal piping throughout i like this sweater because it has a little bit of texture to it so it's a little bit different than some of the other ones another striped sweater because i can't get enough of them i grabbed this guy right here and this one is super oversized it's got a little mock neck to it and shocker it's got sleeves that bishop out just a little bit we've got that black cuff and there is a little bit of black along the bottom as well for a thicker detail right there this one is super chunky super oversized and definitely runs a little bit wider i love this kind of sweater with a pair of black faux leather leggings throw on a pair of frilly socks and a pair of converse and you are good to go for class you look super cute if you wanted to add a little bit of texture a little bit of dimension to the look i definitely recommend either layering a flannel or a leather jacket over top anyways okay here's the next sweater very similar to some of the other ones the only difference is that here is like a lighter tan without a turtleneck this one's just your average crew neck i really like layering long sleeves underneath of these two if you need a little layer of warmth you know sometimes i usually just wear a bra underneath but some people do need that added layer they're somewhere much chillier and that's like a good easy way to get it in so this one's a little bit more of a cable knit we've got vertical details throughout this one rather than horizontal and this one again is super boxy super baggy so this would be really cute with a pair of skinny jeans or leggings too i did go ahead and pick up two sweater vests and i didn't realize that they were like almost the exact same color but i think that they will work for different occasions so the first one that i grabbed is more like that typical sweater vest style that you probably see all over your pinterest board right now um i have a bunch of sweaters this style and they've got just like a classic v-neck to it very basic fit but this one's got little buttons along the sides which is a really cute detail this is the kind of sweater vest that I would either wear on its own with a pair of jeans when it's a little bit cooler or you can layer a white button up underneath of this for more of that like schoolgirl fit if you're headed into the office then a piece like this is going to be your best friend definitely a little more professional and I love that burnt orange for the fall time now if you were going for more of that cool girl I want to match the girls on my Pinterest board type of vibe then I would go for a sweater vest like this as you can see this one is more of like kind of like a little cocoon like it's got a mock neck and it just goes straight across there's no V to this or anything and this one is definitely a little bit wider it hangs a little bit further off the shoulders obviously there's no sleeves to it but it just kind of cuts right like that if i were to layer something underneath of this i would probably just go for a basic white long sleeve however this on its own is going to look super cool super fun would look really great with a skirt okay two more sweaters guys bear with me the next one i have is another turtleneck this one was a little scratchy i will admit this was not my favorite sweater of the bunch a majority of the other ones were super soft a very cozy knit but this one definitely has a little bit of acrylic to it i try to stay away from acrylic because it does tend to be a little bit scratchier it also is the kind of material that will disintegrate a little bit in the wash so you do want to keep that in mind when shopping always check the details what I like about this sweater is that it's got a little bit of like rainbow stitching throughout it. So there are a bunch of different colors. It's not as basic, as neutral as some of those other ones. So you do have the chance to kind of mix things up a little bit. I also really like the sweater hack of, although most of these were full length, if you're wearing a normal bra or a cropped tank top, you can simply just tuck the bottom of your sweater underneath of it for more of that cropped fit without actually taking scissors and hacking off the bottom of your sweater. So keep that in mind if you do want to make one of these a little bit shorter just for the sake of it okay and then last but not least i grabbed this sweater which literally looks like a tube of fabric with sleeves on it when you just hold it up this actually crisscrosses across the chest the model looks fantastic in it and i can't quite get it to look the same i think it looks pretty good in the try on but i couldn't get it to like look just like the picture so if anyone has this sweater and has experience slash tips on making it look fantastic please let me know down below very cool concept though very different sweater a lot of the other ones were super basic good for layering whereas this is one that would really make a statement on its own very different would be great for a first date something like that okay moving on to flannels i actually had a flannel just like this last year and i lost it i wore it all the time it was 
my favorite flannel and they came back with it again this year so I picked it up again this is the perfect color palette that's why I really like it it's got a little bit of black a little bit of charcoal gray some light tan and some white in it so all the basics really hits the neutrals across the board and it pairs with everything I really like it buttoned up but I also like to leave it undone with just a solid white tank top underneath works really well too and the reason why I like this so much is that it's super soft it's more of that like flannel soft to the touch material on the outside but on the inside it's more of that terry cloth that doesn't itch but it also doesn't make you sweat so it's that perfect weight for me in the fall time so if you get anything from this haul I highly recommend this flannel and then I also picked up this flannel and I was really hoping that this would be true flannel material but it's actually exactly like a blanket I think when I hold it up that you can probably tell what I'm talking about because it literally feels like a blanket don't get me wrong that's great sometimes like if I were lounging around in bed working from home something like this would be really great but I just wasn't expecting that so do keep that in mind the color palette of this though is like perfect for the pump patch perfect for apple picking something like that it's a mix of brown white and a little bit of orange nothing too crazy but so soft just look it's just not what I expected it to be okay I've got some fun tops coming your way mostly going out tops I know a lot of you guys are of age to be going to the bars maybe you're going for drinks with your coworkers, your girlfriends maybe you're meeting a boy on a first date and I've been getting some questions for that type of outfit so I am working on a post on that as well but I figured I would pick up a couple of tops the first one I grabbed is this little mesh corset style top I actually have this in the light blue and I freaking adore it it's one of the cutest tops it's got a little bit of boning throughout which means that this top top is super structured as you can see when I hold it up it doesn't like fall over that's because there's that little bit of wiring throughout this is so flattering you can definitely give yourself a good boob scoop by adding a sticky bra on or you can wear it braless whatever floats your boat zips up the back just a fantastic top if you wanted to layer this and make it a little more like school appropriate you can easily wear this over top of a solid long sleeve shirt as well for more of that layered moment comes in a bunch of different colors like I said I do have it in the blue but I I thought that the burnt orange would be perfect for the fall okay next up I grabbed this like chocolate brown satiny corset top it looks really cheap when I just hold it up like it doesn't look like anything special but when you put it on I actually really love the fit of this it's got a little bit of boning throughout it as well mostly right here along the center of the chest but then the bustier style cups do not have any wiring throughout them so this is the kind of top that you'll probably want to wear a sticky bra with just to kind of help you fill out those cups this one is a little bit longer more of a full length Length top so it does tuck really nicely into a pair of jeans would also look very cute with a pair of leather pants to kind of play with texture really great basic going out top that you could mix and match for a lot of different occasions I obviously had to pick up a little leather top as well you guys know me and my love for anything faux leather the model looks super cute in this little black top as well this definitely runs a little bit small if you are in between sizes I definitely recommend going up a size and that's because this does not have a zipper throughout it it's just a little bit of elastic and I find that all leather runs a little bit tiny so just keep that in mind all right the next top I have I have been seen all over my Pinterest board I believe that it is originally a princess Polly top but Shein came out with a very similar one for a fraction of the cost so this is a long sleeve shirt but it's hardly a shirt it's more like a bra it's super super short if you don't like cropped things then I definitely don't recommend this because it obviously is on the shorter side it's got a little like kind of like an ace it's like a reverse sweetheart neckline it's like a sweetheart neckline but underneath of your boobs like as more of the under boob style I don't know I felt super sexy in this I loved it with a pair of high-waisted bottoms could be very cute with a pair of leather pants as well just everything about this was good perfect for going out but you can also wear this for other occasions and last but not least for the tops I grabbed this little neutral guy right here just a long sleeve and this one's a mock neck with a big cutout right above the chest so this does cover your boobs perfectly but then this whole area right here is on display it's a really unique cutout I've never seen a top like this which is why I wanted to try it out I think that this is different it's cool but it's also modest at the same time still like your boobs aren't overly on display your neck is obviously covered so very fun piece to wear out and it comes in a bunch of different colors I did grab one pair of pants I'm trying to pick up some fun 
transition pieces to shoot while I am in Los Angeles later this week. I'll probably already be there when you guys are seeing this video. So I grabbed these orange pants. They're actually like a linen material, which is kind of cool. I was expecting them to be more like slacks, but they're not. And these actually fit me beautifully. I believe these come in green and pink as well. And they fit fantastic. I highly recommend these. You could definitely wear these into the office as well. They've got a little bit of elastic throughout here, which makes them fit super beautifully. And then they've got that standard little silver clasp but with a zipper I usually have trouble fitting into she and pants and that's because I'm about a 25 inch waist and a majority of their extra smalls start at a 26 or 27 inch waist but these fit fantastic and I really loved them obviously orange is a little different for some people but I love it I love a good statement I did go ahead and grab two jackets as well because fall is here which means I'm gonna have to start wearing a jacket to class so I grabbed two puffer coats I love puffers I go to school in Ohio, so I do have to start wearing a parka. Like, it gets really cold here, very snowy. But for those few in-between weeks where I don't have to wear my knee-length parka, I do like to wear puffers. They're also especially great for darties, if you have football games, things like that. This brown leather coat is one of the best I've ever gotten from Shein. The quality is absolutely fantastic. It's super puffy. It definitely is a little bit warmer than I expected it to be. And overall, I just think this is a fantastic layering piece. I did get this in a size small and it has enough stretch to it that I can actually wear a long sleeve and a sweater underneath of it. There's nothing I hate more than when you get a really cute jacket, but it's so stiff right here, like in the armpit area, that you can't actually move your arms. This one actually has some give to it. It also has buttons and a zipper, which is so nice because you can actually leave this done up if you need. Okay, and then the next puffer I grabbed looks like this. This one definitely looks cheaper. It like something, I don't know what this material is, but it's very unique. Probably not the coat that you would wear if you were trying to look expensive or chic, but this is the perfect kind of coat to wear to a darty. Um, if you are outside all day, you, know, you need a little extra layer. It looks much cuter on, I think. I will say that this is definitely a lot lighter than the brown one. It doesn't have nearly as much puff to it. There's not as much like material on the inside, so not gonna keep you as warm, but it is just a nice little layer to add over top or for cutesy purposes if you're looking for something fun. Okay, last but not least, I've got some fall wedding guest inspired dresses for you. I know that a lot of you guys have weddings coming up, especially because you guys are getting older as I'm getting older. Some of your friends are getting married. So I've got some options for you. I've also already shared a bunch of options on my website and on my Instagram. So if you're interested in seeing those, make sure you check that out. The first dress I grabbed was definitely my favorite of them all. This is a light dusty blue dress with a slight cowl neckline. My favorite thing about this dress is actually the material of it. This is like a jersey material that makes your butt look fantastic. I have a dress very similar from Shein in orange and it is one of my favorite pieces so I was very excited to find another dress in the same material this one's a midi length it's got a slight slit along the left hand side of it and just hugs all your curves so beautifully and then it's got a little bit of stitching throughout that just gives you more of that hourglass figure a lot of these cowl neck dresses can make you look a little bit heavier in the midriff area this one I found to be very forgiving next wedding guest option is this guy right here I actually have this dress in chocolate chocolate brown and I love it. It's very flattering on so many different body shapes. So I wanted to give it a try. I'm not usually a huge fan of bodycon dresses because I'm not a super curvy girl, but I feel like this just accentuates everyone's figure so beautifully. It's got that ruched material all throughout. So it makes your butt look super fantastic and it kind of gathers in all the right areas. You've got just regular stretchy elastic straps and this is full length. Definitely not the easiest to walk in. So if you are planning on like breaking it down on the dance floor all night long then I probably would skip out on this but it's flattering on every body shape curvy girls non curvy girls you name it I also picked up some shorter options as well just because I know not every wedding requires a midi or a maxi dress so I grabbed this chocolate brown one this has that same cowl neckline that's so beautiful very trendy right now this was one of my favorite dresses I found it to be very flattering it's very simple but you can easily dress this up with some lace-up heels a cute chain bag something like that We've got thin adjustable straps and just like a rather shapeless fit. This comes in a few different colors, but the chocolate brown just screams fall. So this dress right 
here is absolutely beautiful, but it was a little big on me. I've never been so disappointed that a dress was too big. This is a size small, but it definitely runs on the larger side. So if you are in between sizes, I would recommend going down. This is the perfect short dress for a fall wedding. If you are wearing a short dress, it gathers throughout the skirt, but it's got like your typical just V neckline, a little bit deeper. So you can give yourself a little bit of boob scoop. Some boob tape would work really well with this. And then it's got sleeves that bishop out just a little bit, but they cuff with some beautiful buttons along the sides. It's more of like an old ladyish kind of floral, but I find it to be like timeless. It's super elegant. I really like it. A mix of orange, yellow, and green flowers. I just, oh, I wish that this ran a little bit snugger because it would have been perfect with nude heels and a pair of gold hoops. This is fantastic for a wedding. Okay, then I picked up this light green dress and this is such a fantastic material. It's like a mix of cotton and jersey, so it's super, super stretchy. It's got a lot of give to this. I would recommend sizing down. It's got a slight v-neck. We've got that really cute, like, detail right along the boobs and then we've got sleeves that bishop out just a little bit these ones have like a little ruffle along the wrist which is super cute and then because there is this stitch right here the skirt portion of this definitely looks a little bit longer than it is I'm about 5'2 five, 5'3 five, so this was a little bit longer on me either way but just keep that in mind this is definitely more of an appropriate length especially a little bit longer for a shorter dress with lace-up heels cute little bag this would be perfect for a wedding it's also a really great color i feel like although this is a color it's obviously that sage green that's super popular right now you could definitely wear this for more than one occasion next dress i probably wouldn't wear it to a wedding i don't feel like it's fancy enough but it's still super cute we've got this white and blue floral dress this is smock throughout which means it's that super stretchy material more of a bodycon which is probably why I wouldn't wear this to a wedding because it's bodycon and shorter I feel like that duo is a little bit much it's also it's also got this little string throughout the bottom that kind of cinches up so you can make it a little bit shorter I love the sleeves on this they bishop out just a little shocker my favorite sleeve detail this is on so many tops this season anyways but it's got these cute little ruffles too so I don't know, very fun print, but obviously you wouldn't be wearing white to a wedding anyways, so still cute, fun for brunch. And then last but certainly not least, I grabbed this hunter green dress. I really like the style of this, but this piece is just definitely cheaply made, so the quality wasn't there. It definitely looks like you paid $15 for it, so if I were going to a wedding, I'd probably go for something a little bit dressier. It cinches up a little bit along the left-hand side, which kind of gives it more of that gathered material throughout. Because this is a cheaper material, it wrinkles really easily, which is what makes it look a little bit cheaper than it actually is. We do have that cute little cross detail along the front, and the color is fantastic. This does come in a bunch of other colors. I'm curious if one of the other colors with this fabric would make this look a little more elegant, a little more elevated. Alrighty guys, that is going to be all for this Shein haul. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a big one. I will leave everything linked in order down below for you guys to shop. And that's going to be all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next Shein haul. I've already got it filmed and ready to go. So stay tuned for that. Love you guys and I will talk to you very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.